Yesterday, oil managed to break above the psychological level of 90 US dollars per barrel but failed to hold there. The reason behind this is the overall market sentiment shaped by the Fed's monetary tightening. According to Jerome Powell, the regulator is going to raise the key rate in March this year and intends to do this at almost every meeting. Such hawkish rhetoric and readiness for aggressive measures pushed the US dollar higher. Against this backdrop, oil quotes started a correction just like many other assets. At the same time, the long-term outlook for oil remains quite positive. An increasing energy deficit and the prospect of a demand recovery suggests a further rise in the oil quotes. Besides, current geopolitical tensions act as a supporting factor for oil. Therefore, analysts are sure that we will soon see a further uptrend in the crude market. And now let's discuss the current technical picture on oil. On Wednesday, price of Brent crude futures broke through the resistance level of $90 per barrel. This signals high speculative demand for the asset even despite its overbought status. A valid sign of a further uptrend will appear only after the price settles above the mark of $90 per barrel on the 4-hour chart. This will allow bulls to push the quote to the next psychological level of $100 US per barrel. Wednesday was not the best day for the ruble. The dollar versus ruble pair remains highly volatile and keeps hitting new highs. Yesterday, the US dollar appreciated to the level of 80 against the ruble. The last time this happened was in March of 2020. At the close of the session, the pair retreated from the record highs and settled at 79.5 rubles per dollar. The overall trajectory of the pair may indicate a further recovery of the ruble. However, this will be possible only when political tensions ease. The Russian foreign minister confirmed that Russia and the United States agreed on security guarantees. Although no details are available at the moment, the fact that the two sides have a dialogue and try to find a diplomatic solution is quite incomplete. Encouraging. Besides, Russia's government officials denied the possibility of a military conflict. If the two countries maintain such rhetoric, the ruble has a good chance for recovery. And now let's have a look at the technical picture. On Wednesday, the dollar-ruble pair tested new local highs and overcame the level of 80 rubles per dollar. The speculative mood led to an overheated market, so that traders still downplay the fact that the US dollar has been largely overbought. If the current trend persists, the quote may easily surge to historical highs. However, we should keep in mind that technical correction is sure to start after such a rally. The meeting of the US Federal Reserve had a strong impact on gold. The precious metal tumbled to the downside, having lost almost $40 and returned to $1,810 per troy ounce. As we have mentioned earlier, the price of gold is largely shaped by a speculative factor, which is exactly what happened on Wednesday. At times like this, the state of gold is a safe haven asset is being shattered, and this is not how they should behave. Despite a risk of sentiment in the market, gold is still likely to drop below the mark of $1,800 per troy ounce in the future. As for the technical outlook, gold futures faced a sell-off wave on Wednesday near the level of $1,850 per ounce. In the course of the strong downward movement, the quote lost 2% of its value. In our case, the information background is fueling speculative activity on the asset. The target of $1,800 and $1,810 per ounce may serve as the nearest support for gold. As we can see, markets are recovering from a volatile session on Wednesday and are looking for new directions. We will keep you up to date on the latest news so that you get the most relevant trading signals. We wish you a successful trading day and see you back soon.